anyone out that said that they don't feel comfortable with being around a 17-year-old? I mean, you know, would would I be all right with that? No, but then again, I don't have a Discord for this reason. Like, yeah. I was just wanting to speak up about my experience with Discord. Do you remember, Harley, when I had beef with Buztex at the Buzz Sheep? No. Okay, right. So, Buztex has been friends with multiple S offenders. Okay. So I've called him out for that. We had beef, right? We had beef for quite a while. These little scammy little fingers, right? I'm not sticking up for her. I'm not sticking up for her at all. Um, but when you have a Discord, how many members? You know how many members she has? Um, I've not been told. I've just been told about, like a fair amount. And the thing is for me is I've been into a live where EQ Mink said that there's no minors in that chat. Like, because they okay. had an issue where someone had gone in there and seen that they had minors in there and it had been- Well, there's the thing, right? Mm-hmm. This is this is what I'm going to say. When you get a when you get a massive amount of followers on a, on something like that, right? Yeah, it's very hard to police. I don't know how it's policing. Now, you could argue: Does Chelsea have to prove that she's had consent off parents and consent off thing? Potentially, if people are not comfortable that there's a 17 year old in there with consent, apparently, then do you know what I mean? It's it's, it's yeah. really awkward. But like, for example. Buzztex had 5,000 people in his Discord, right? Yeah. And when we had beef, he went in there, he went in there and said, look, um, I want to find information about the Fact Freak, right? I want to find information about the Fact Freak, his name, everything like that. Not a very clever fucking muppet, obviously, because my full name's on my Instagram with a fucking verified tick, but whatever. Um, and I tell everyone where I'm from. I'm from Sunderland. The weather's nice tonight and I'm having a pint. But he also then, people started posting, oh, well, the Fact Freak has a Twitter and he likes OnlyFans lasses, right? And I was mm-hmm. like, well, what the fuck's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? But then you're putting that content in a Discord where you have not moderated who's in that Discord, and yeah. you can't tell me you have like five thousand people's IDs. You can't tell me you have th- five thousand people's verification. Absolutely no way. So I'd be interested if you're really going to look at this. I'd be interested in you finding how many members are in that one and what the verification process is. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, no, I mean, I can I can ask my friend who went in there and see, but can I, so BuzzTech is someone, right, so last night. I, <laughs> Jesus Christ, don't get friend, me started with BuzzTech again. No, right, okay, well, he hates I just me. know this fact, Freak, because last night I went live because um, cause Buzz, BuzzTech's doing this whole monk thing, right? You've heard about this. Yeah, but BuzzTech is clickbait for vulnerable women and children to send money. That's what he is. I don't give a hey, BuzzTech. Fuck you. I, like, I don't like that's what he is. That's what his content is. It's all like gambling scams. Put, you know, so many subscribers are going to win this. All this sort of shit. It's always been the same way with BuzzTech. He's had two people. He was best mates with Sonny Sweetman, who was on the register for so many years, and essayed his partner. Didn't think it was essay because his partner, you know what I mean? You can do whatever you want, apparently. Then he had another guy, uh, the only fools and horses guy with the whatever it was i contacted him privately and was like do you realize this guy is a an offender and everything like that completely fucking blanked me read the messages and everything like that i did awareness about that at the time he reported me to the police he asked his followers to maliciously report all of my accounts um and i and he went on and on and on and on and on he's got nothing he's got literally so if BuzzTex is getting involved again, sorry, sorry, I'm on a rant, but no, BuzzTex, okay, go. BuzzTex, keep sleeping in travel lodges because your missus don't want you, right? No, but this <laughs> I'm, is the I'm thing, go- right? Because I strictly went live yesterday to speak about one scenario. I don't know anything about BuzzTex. So I went live to talk about one scenario where he's got this monk guy speaking to get more subs, basically. And I just said that that's a form of manipulation and it's peer pressuring people. It is. But I didn't realize anything about it. So I'm getting all these messages about him and stuff. And obviously he was in my box and I just, honestly, I really wish he were in the live because that would have been, 
like I'm not saying no, I don't like, believe other people, but I know you. Do you know what I mean? So I trust you. No, like at the end of the day, right? There's like predators that I expose, and then there's buzz text. You know, it's it's two yeah. different like lines of the scale as far as I'm concerned. Buzz text is just somebody who is getting by on everybody else's money, no matter what scam or whatever thing he's got going. It's basically yeah. what he is, he's a, he's a very good manipulative person. Like he ran lives about me on YouTube that were absolute flops. He's got a dead YouTube channel, he was chased off YouTube, he used to do audits and everybody couldn't stand him on there, you know what I mean? So like yeah. he's, he's just gone from pillar to post making money. Yeah. No, that's like fair enough. I'm kind of glad you brought the name up about the Discord and stuff anyway. Um, no, I mean, my point was like, I'd, I'd be interested to know if it was me, if it was me, well, it is me, I'd be interested in knowing how does somebody verify, um, how does somebody verify their Discord users? How yeah. does some like Chelsea saying that this person is fine and everything like that, what evidence does she have? Does she have to actually prove anything? I mean, this is Evil Queen, isn't she? She's going to give a shit. At the end of the day, you've got to care less. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Unless a crime's being committed. I mean, is is indecent images being shared in that chat? Is there anything yes. that's actually illegal? So I've been oh, told shit. that CLA's uh, hairbrush video has been posted into the Discord. <laughs> that was one of the hardest live reactions I've ever done, and I did do it. Um, F, F is always in EQ's chat. You're right, I do watch her videos. I, I do think it's funny when she's roasting the fuck out of people. Do I agree with everything she does? No. Um, but if she shared indecent, I've seen that video, unfortunately. I live reacted to it um, where you could only see me and me talking. But um, I mean, yeah, well, techni well technically, yeah, it's, it's a crime. It's, yeah. it's a crime to be sharing that anyway without... I don't know if it's a revenge crone situation because EQ, not EQ, Chelsea The Art published that video on Instagram. Yeah, Everyone it thinks it's TikTok. Yeah, all over Instagram live. So it wasn't that... Yeah. yeah, I mean, actually, technically, she's committed a crime because she's uh, put it onto a 13-plus app. So no, 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 no. Instagram's different, man. Instagram... Oh. People can get their baps out and swing them about if they fancy it on Instagram, depending on the accounts. Like, because I looked at this back in the day because the rumor was when it first came out that it was on TikTok. And okay. obviously, I went out there and was like, fucking, I can't believe you would do this on TikTok. Like, many flashes I've called out and gone after and everything. Um, but it was on Instagram. In her account, it was, it was banned after it. <laughs> obviously too far after it but the the conditions on instagram are different i don't agree with the conditions at all yeah but they are different you know what i mean yeah no that's i mean that's fair enough it's just yeah i mean it just it does appreciate me because the thing is it was also one of these people that went for the alphabet situation which i still don't agree with the playing the games do you know what i mean and things like that and i'm just like you know, at the end of the day, I personally, 36 years old, the exact same age as EQ, would not want a minor being involved with other adults in a chat where I know the conversation's dark. There's dark. Well, no, neither would, ne there. neither would I. Neither would I. I. I agree with you on that. I agree with you on that. I mean, I haven't seen, obviously, you put a, a screenshot. I haven't seen everything. But yeah. I agree with that. I agree with that 100%. Well, there's things the like... Fucking hell, the cops you know, are coming for me. Jesus. You, you might not be a fan of this person, but do you know Prince Bra... Uh, Prince Bra? Like, you might... Yeah, yeah, he lives up to his name, yeah. Yeah, so he's he's literally being put in there as it's being said. Massive trigger warning here. Massive trigger warning. But um, he would... Uh, Prince Bra is a failed... You know, no, I don't, and I don't want to push you. I'm not exactly sure what you're talking about, but Prince like, Brat, like you know, when I, you... the thing is, the thing is, like, regardless, right? Yeah, regardless, there's a lot of tit for tat shit going on on TikTok right now, and a lot yeah. of horrible shit, right? I've just done an investigation tonight, and a guy who was caught messaging a 16 year old schoolboy 
Do you know what I mean? Like, and yeah. asking for pictures and can they remove their T-shirt and show videos and all that sort of stuff, right? And then there's people who are just saying things because they hate another creator or they want another creator's reaction. Now, Prince Brat cannot scream about the rights of certain groups of people and then be completely happy with somebody who complete who misgenders somebody because they don't like them it's the argument of like a lot of racists have been thrown around on this app hasn't it i was so annoyed that i became a racist for two seconds i had so much to drink i became a racist out of all of the i'm yeah. sorry i can have a good drink tonight i ain't going to be throwing racial slurs around and doing shit like that it's all excuse shit. Yeah. You stand by your own principles. I don't agree with obviously, in, you know, indecent things being shared in chats that have uh, don't. I and stand by what I believe in, regardless of whether I piss people off. Like uh, it, it, it is what it is. You have a moral compass, and it's your own moral compass, and that's what you set. You can't say one thing and then condemn somebody else for doing the same thing. So yeah. as far as I'm concerned, I saw Prince Brat saying a lot of good things in, in race debates and different things like that, but it doesn't forget the fact that he backs somebody who will misgender somebody just because they don't like them. Yeah. I've never not liked somebody so much that I've become a racist randomly for five minutes. It's the most ridiculous argument I've ever heard and it gets thrown around on TikTok every fucking day yeah no i i completely agree with you i'm so against that and i've said that that whole quinn situation like no one has the excuse to be transphobic thank you at all you know and it just it did really bug me but um it's it's just annoying because i just feel like it's always the same on this app energy is put onto one person because people will sit there and go but they're a wrong it but as soon as it's no, certain people it's, on this app, do you know what it is right I, I would like to introduce them to some of the wrong ones i deal with yeah. everyone's fucking arguing about some of like and they, these are horrible things i'm not being like i'm not playing them down yeah but no, no, I get you it. have somebody you have three people that come to me who want exposures right and one person says this person uh, has i don't know but be, been horrible called this person names done this or whatever and this person is an s offender against children like literally like i could name five offenders off the top of my head that are currently active on TikTok while everybody's arguing about yeah. what everyone should be offended by. Everybody should be offended by the predators on this app. Yeah. <laughs> the predators and it, like Evil Queen's always gonna push the button. All Evil Queen's always gonna talk shit. I wouldn't put it past Evil Queen to be the fucking kid <laughs> on another account to just stir the shit. Like, I, I, honestly, I wouldn't. Like, who's verified that this person's legit? Like, and everyone is putting their energy there, and I get it, everyone's fight is everybody's fight, but there is literal predators on this app. There is people yeah. who are racist daily on this app who say that, oh, it's just because I've had a drink that I've suddenly turned into a racist, or whatever the hell it is, pisses me off. That's my thing, though, and it's the same with any Discord, right? They're not even just EQs. So I used to have my own Discord, and when I had that, I made sure it was 18 plus. It was people that I knew of. I seen, like, their their Facebook, uh, not their Facebook, sorry, their TikToks, and it was people that I had seen. They'd done videos of them as adults. Yeah, but I mean? that's like, right. Okay, I'm just going to completely destroy your shit right there. What, yeah. what, what stops somebody from getting their older sister's video that they sent them on whatsapp and using it to create a tiktok account so they can be in the discord chat that you run like yeah. it, people think they can verify things you can't verify everything you yeah. can't do everything that's why i just basically poo poo discord i limit the contact people make with me as a creator for that exact reason it's about yeah. safeguarding i mean you know, the thing there's, is there's I ways around have... everything I mean, to be Sorry. fair, I only ended up having 20 people in there. Do you know what I mean? And I always had voice calls with them all and things like that. I definitely knew, to be honest, and there was just, I was, the thing is, I'm 36. Right, years Harley, old. right. If, huh? if, like, I don't know if you know this, but obviously I worked for a while and studied to be a police station representative. You get arrested. You want, a, you want somebody there. 
And the guy, you don't get a solicitor. It's called a solicitor, but you don't get a solicitor. You get a representative for the firm, right? So you look at everything in a defensive way. Like, what is the defense of this? You just said you want voice calls, and right? My son is coming up 15, and one of his mates sounds like fucking Barry White. It's fucking ridiculous. I was like, who the fuck's that? Do you know what I mean? Fuck that you're talking to, you know what I mean? How to get a check. Like it's it's one of those things, like if you can think of a way that somebody can poke a hole through a verification or a defense of something, yeah. then you need to think and you stop it. I personally don't think there's a way you can do that with Discord. No, I agree. I agree. But that's what I'm saying. Like I'm not a big fan of it. I know there's a lot of gaming you know, discords and all this where they have like, you know, kids in it and things like that. Like you know, and that scares me. I know my son has got friends who are in Discord forums and I was like, absolutely not. Like, that's not happening because there's no control. I don't know who you're talking to. I can't constantly keep an eye on who you're talking to. Do you yeah. know what I mean? He's, he's yeah. nearly 13. Like, you know, I just... I, I mean, that's, like, maybe I'm just... I suppose everyone's... <laughs> has, has, sorry, sorry. Uh, I've got my headphones on and I'm speaking. No, 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 it's okay. <clears throat> but is, um, is EQ spoken about this? Um, so she's only what's been in that, uh, only from what I know in the Discord. She might speak about it tonight. And look, I'm not, look, I am not saying that EQ is a danger to children or anything like that. That is not what I'm saying. But my worry is, is a 17 year old being in a Discord, who else is in that Discord? And the conversations that are happening are not child friendly. Like, yeah, you know, I get it. I, you know, no, I get everybody's is, concerns. And if she is posting CLA's video in there, then it's definitely not something that should be in a Discord where there's potential minors. You're giving me bloody PTSD, I'm not going to lie, but it, it, it's <laughs> like, it. you're I'm right, you're it. right. <laughs> you're right, and it's not something that should be shared about anywhere. Like, do you know what I mean? It's, it's just one of the, I don't know, like, I think you've got to wait and see uh, what's said. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like Emma's just made a point in the chat, like everybody's journey is different in life, but at the end of the day, right, Emma, like, wait, I was wait, talking wait, about this. Sorry, sorry, fat freak. Scottish Unicorn, are you not also in that Discord discussing about where I work and stuff? Because I'm pretty sure I've seen that. The thing is, though, right, Harley, sorry, I was talking, the guy, the guy I'm doing a deep dive on this weekend, right, uh, Midnight Stings, right? Yeah. He messaged a 16-year-old boy, right? It was indecent shit. It was horrible, right? It's not illegal to to send a message. It's not illegal to, to do that. Now, if there was images sent, that's a crime. Anybody under the age of 18, it's classed as CP, okay? Now, obviously, Chelsea isn't. But you know what I'm saying? Like, there are laws... There are laws and stuff like that, but with reporting to the police, you need a victim. Yeah. So the 17 year old would have to come forward. You know, I've reported crimes on behalf of awareness and I've mm. struggled because I am not technically a victim. Like if somebody shares a screen recording to me and stuff like that, I am not a victim. I can bullshit the police and I have done multiple times and said, it was me, I saw it, etc. Mm-hmm. But it it's difficult. It's very difficult. They they would have to be reported. What I'm saying is if there's thousands of people in there and yeah. we are aware of one person, maybe we should be looking at that. Do you know what I mean? Is the more because that's what I was saying about Buztex, he had five thousand of them in there and he's sharing things about me being like, Oh look, he's he's into OnlyFans models or whatever. Right? Okay. Yeah. And that's consensual shit and that's all good. But how do you know there isn't kids in your chat and you're sharing this content with them? Do you know what I mean? Like what what's the verification process? It's just the reason that I think the thing for me is I feel it's been deliberately hidden because EQ Mink sat in alive, as I said, and turned and said that there's no minors in that Discord. Knowing that. Do you know what the, the problem is Discord. though? People will <sighs> People will answer, well, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't, this is just hypothetical shit, obviously. Yeah. But people will defend, obviously, EQ Mix is obviously a very 
old friend of Chelsea who's moderated for Chelsea for like fucking years and years and years and years, right? She's going to defend her. She's going to say what she thinks is the right thing. It doesn't necessarily mean it's the right thing. For me personally, I don't know a way that you can 100% verify everyone on a Discord server and make sure it's safe. Yeah. And that's why personally, I don't have one. Do you know what I mean? It would be very, like I've had people say, like facts, you could start a server and you could have subsets where it's like Sonny Sweetman, Sasha Fontaine, whoever the hell it is. And people yeah. could go in and put evidence and things like that. But I'm like, people putting evidence in there, but what happens if a kid jumps in there and sees this evidence of this horrific shit or whatever? So I just don't do it. And I agree, by the way, I'm not saying that this is completely like, I personally think we should be as parents making sure what our apps our children are on and things like that. I'm not denying that. And if the parents are choosing to allow their 17 year old to do that, that's that's entirely up to them. I'm not gonna sit there because at 16 years old, you can go and get a job and things like that. Like I'm not saying, it's just more of who else is in there. That's, do you know what I mean? We've got a 17 year old we know of definite and she's okay with that 17 year old being in there but it's just very concerning the excuse of well this 17 year old goes to parties this 17 year old goes to festivals this 17 year old does this you know that's the excuse of yeah, it well, like well yeah but that might have been what's been put to eq by the parents of this 17 year old we don't know